All right, the purpose of this video is to show you a brief overview of Odoo's expense functionality, specifically when it comes to how an employee is able to use a company card, and furthermore, uh, to show how there can be an approval hierarchy built into the, uh, into the expense workflow. All right, let's jump in. So if I look at the expense app, I can open it up. And as you know, expenses can be entered into the app in three main ways. The first way is to manually create an expense, which involves clicking create and inputting the data here, uh, whether on a computer or laptop via a browser or on a mobile device via an iOS or, or uh, Android app. Uh, the second way involves clicking upload, which allows for Odoo to auto capture all of the different variables on the uh, PDF or on the image of the expense, and it will automatically create um, an expense report via OCR technology. And the third way is you're able to, uh, you're able to actually send an email, in this case, to expenses, expense at demo9234.odoo.com. And when you send that email with a copy of the receipt, attached, it will automatically capture that and create the expense as well. For the sake of today's demo, I'm going to go in and manually create an expense. I'm going to call this expense lunch. Here I can have an expense product. In this case, I only have one product, uh, but you may have another expense product called meals and entertainment, which every expense product can be associated to a specific expense account. In this case, all of my expenses at the category level are affiliated with the exp gener generic expense account. Um, if I want to have expense products uh, associated with a unique account and not respect the account defined on the category level, I can do so by going here and assigning that account right here at the expense level on the record itself. Now. Of course, I could also go in here and manually edit that. It just points to our chart of accounts. So next, I would be able to define a unit price. I could say, you know, $300 if there's a quantity, if there are taxes. Uh, and then down here, I see paid by. I have two options. And if I hover over, it'll give me the, uh, the tool tip. And they have to be saved on the record. But it's employee to reimburse. What this does is it's actually going to create a vendor bill, implying that I have to reimburse an employee for the expense incurred. The second option is company. If I select company, it implies that the company is paying for this expense, for example, by way of a corporate card. For the example I'm going to go through today, given your interest, I'm going to select company as the pay by option. Up here, you can define a reference, expense date, as I mentioned, that account and the employee who is uh, who is creating this expense, which it's automatically uh, captured based on the employee logged in, devising the expense report. Next step is to attach a receipt, which I can do by clicking attach, and it will pull up something like this, and I will just upload it quickly. And now I have my receipt attached. And let next step in the flow is create a report, which I can click create. So here's my expense report. And this is the beginning of the flow where I can see submit to manager. Because Nicholas Kaczynski is an administrator in the system, I will also have the option to approve this expense. And you can see the approval flow built in right over here. It's in the draft stage, next submitted, approved, posted, paid. So as an employee, I would then submit to my manager. And now because I'm the manager, I have the option to approve. But if you look up here, I can see reports to approve in a drop-down list. So each manager will, assuming, right, or if it's a function of accounting and finance, uh, they will have the option to go to expense reports, expense to approve, and they'll see a list view of all of the expenses that need to be approved. Here they can drill in. Um, I believe you may be able to do an action and uh, approve reports in mass. 
uh, if you don't want to go through and, and manually manually go in and approve them. But in this case, we'll, we'll go in uh, to this individual record and we'll click approve. And that officially marks the expense as approved and it changes the status. If you would like to have your employee notified via email uh, when their expense is approved, you can set that up as well. Now that it's been approved, this is usually a function of accounting and finance would be to post the entries and move the report forward. This is where expense integrates with accounting, right? So we defined uh, some entries. We also have here the bank journal associated with this, which you'll see how that works in just a second. So I click post entries and you'll see it's going to mark this as paid. Now, if I go in the accounting app, you will see I have a, a few different journals. These are essentially buckets that capture transactions. But if I look at the journals that are affiliated with corporate cards, so these buckets or these journals integrate with the bank account. So bank account, right, Chase Manhattan, last four digits, 9458. I'm pulling in all the bank statement lines from that particular account based on a frequency that I prescribe. It could be hourly, daily, weekly, biweekly, or monthly. And those bank statement lines are coming in. And right now I can see I have $300 of outstanding payments that I need to reconcile against my bank statement line. Because I don't have an actual bank statement set up for this demo, I'm going to manually create a bank statement in Odoo to show you what it would look like. So I'm going to call this 09-28-21. Uh, uh, this will be defined, right? The reference as it arrives would be defined by your bank. Uh, here, I will see a list of all my transactions. I'm going to say I only have one transaction from um, Tom's right restaurant. And it's for minus $300 on my bank statement. Because, right, my employee paid with a credit card, which deducted from my bank account, or it was a negative, it had a negative impact on the bank statement line, uh, particularly on the statement that is my credit card statement, which the credit card statement is what is synced up to this journal. So those credit card state, that credit card statement will be composed of a list of transactions that are then imported into Odoo automatically without any human intervention, which you'll then reconcile, which is what I'm showing now. So minus 800 is the, is the new ending balance. And just like that, you'll see um, these statements will arrive and I'll have the option to post. Uh, and when I post, you'll see there's X number of items to reconcile. In this case, we just inputted one. So I would go in and reconcile. And this is where I do my reconciliation work. You'd see we're going to reconcile this bank statement line with one of the expenses incurred. And we'll see there's the lunch expense that I want to uh, associate it to. And I would then click validate. And that would effectively reconcile the bank statement line with the outstanding expense that was incurred via a corporate card by one of my employees out in the field. All right. So I, if I go back to my, my home screen, you'll see there's nothing to reconcile anymore. And we can see the last statement is negative $800. Now you'll also see when I go to my reporting, if I want to look at a general ledger, I can see my expenses. I have a few, including a uh, lunch for $300 listed here. Uh, under reporting, if I look at profit and loss, you'll see uh, a list of, of that here. You'll see the negative of uh, the 925 incurred on the expenses uh, as shown on the GL in the previous view. I in this right, Remember, this environment is, uh, is pretty simple. I did not activate analytic accounts. Analytic accounts would allow you to attribute expenses to specific projects, right? And that as those expenses are incurred at the project level, you would also be able to see the impact that expense has on the profitability of the project, which I know uh, Garrett has gone over in, an, in a number of other videos with you guys. If you have any additional questions on that, you can let me know, but um, the functionality would work exactly the same. So this video uh, hopefully gives you some visibility into how expenses work, specifically when uh, processing payment via a corporate card. Uh, if you have any additional questions, you can feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to help you. Thanks so much for your time. Have a wonderful day.